How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're doing something a little bit different, not necessarily news or information, but more kind of testing things out a little bit. With the recent changes coming to the MCC Insider program, focusing a lot on the hit detection and quality of multiplayer experience, I figured why not try out something that's never been played before really until the MCC came out, and that was Halo CE online halo 1 online matchmaking never existed on the console until the mcc now there were quite a lot of bugs a lot of issues with the uh, mcc release obviously so you never really got to truly experience the full you know feeling of what the MC what ce would have been like so with this video i want to test out what they really wanted ce to feel like for matchmaking and uh, give you my experience to see how it turns out for everyone and see how it plays out in 2018. So like I said guys, this is the MCC Insider Program version of you know, MCC, I guess you can call it. And so if you guys want to try out and try to get a chance to play it, I had a video uploaded like, previously talking about how to download the MCC Insider Program. First you need to sign up, then you get to download and everything is in between. You're everyone who's part of the Insider Program can play the MCC Insider. So get in on it, trust me, this is the version of MCC you want to play. So here we go guys, we found a match. It actually didn't take too long to find a CE map on MCC. I'm playing around 10.45 at night on a weeknight, so kind of actually surprising how the matchmaking was not too long. So we're playing some Prisoner right here, which I don't know, one of the classic maps. This actually was remade back in uh, Halo Reach, which uh, was, had a really good looking remake to it. This has always been one of my favorite maps. Uh, well, actually one of my favorite variations of and playing MCC. And, or not the MCC, but just Halo in general. Wow, that was weird. Kind of paused right there when I landed. I uh, was playing P Prisoner Rockets. I don't know why, but this version, I think it's just a verticality, made it a lot of fun to play. So the main things I want to test out right here are actually just like the, uh, the head registration, uh, some of the movement mechanics I felt like were a little bit off in the MCC version of this game. The one thing I do remember, oh my god, I spawned right in front of this guy. What the hell? Well, that's one thing that kind of stayed true to uh, the regular MCC, which is 4v4. It had very terrible spawns. I mean, god-awful spawns that you would just spawn right around the corner of people, right in front of people. And it's looking like that didn't really change a whole lot. Oh, come on, get a double. Ah, we got one kill on that one, though. Oh, he's coming back for seconds. Oh. And one thing I do also remember is the crouch walking not really working too well, at least on the Xbox One controllers. I mean, I'm not quite sure if that's like a Xbox One thing or if it was something just like the inputs are just different. I know this is the technically the PC version of CE that uh, came with MCC, so that's probably why it's a little weird. But let's test it out right here when we respawn in. So I'm going to click in the stick, my left stick that I use, bumper jumper, and move forward. If I move forward at full speed, moving forward, while trying to crouch, I end up walking anyways. But if I move forward just slightly forward with my joystick, then I will, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> then I will, uh, you know, stay crouched. So that's definitely one thing. Though, right now, it's only 2v2 with these, uh, with this uh, MCC in center program version of CE. So, really, and there's no radar, and so crouching really isn't that useful. I think it's trying to keep the speed of the game quickly and look at this look at these spawns. They're just not good, man. Just not good. I literally do not remember the spawns being that Oh, that was quite the hell of a shot. I do not remember the spawns being this bad on the original Xbox. I played CE a ton on the original Xbox with friends. We would system link and just play until the, the early hours in the evening kind of thing. Like it was ridiculous how much time we we literally just come over to my friend's house, come over to my house actually system link and then we just play ctf blood goals until you know our moms made us go home so i had plenty of time in this uh, game and I, there's a lot of things i just don't remember feeling like this weird and also i kind of feel like there's a bit of an input lag when it comes to uh, your actions in the game and what your controller does obviously like with movements it's like it's such a minute difference but it's just enough to where you feel kind of sluggish and rather weighty and look at that spawn again wow uh, the spawn logger definitely could use some uh, use some tender love and care on this one. Now, I don't know if this is like the original uh, from the uh, original C. I don't remember it being this bad, but maybe it's some weird PC version that you know, they couldn't figure the work or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's just the, the spawns aren't working for me on this. And what I was saying, like, so this is a slight input delay. Oh, that got a nice shot there too. So there's like this very very 
delicate input delay it feels like when you're playing. It, your, your character feels very weighted when playing as well. Um, like I can reload here and I'll press reload and then he starts reloading. Like right when I said reload right there, that's when I hit the B button to reload. That's why I use bumper jumper because I'm a pro like that. And it definitely was a delay. Like I'll watch, I'll show you again. Like shoot, reload. You can see that there's definitely a significant delay between when I say I hit when I hit reload and when the animation actually happens. Now this could just be again like just times changing. This game came out in 2001, so maybe things like uh, being so precise on button hits inputs or were not as key maybe back then as they are now. Because Halo 5, you are a snappy soldier. Wow, got sniped real hard on that one. And my teammate left, so that really works out really well. Oh, come on, don't shoot me. You don't want to do that. I'm going to peek around this corner. Oh my god, that's right, the nades are nukes. The nades in this game are complete nukes, by the way. And they will mess you up like that right there, buddy. Oh my god, he has sniper and rockets. So let's go. Come on, give me your... Where, where's your fur, your friend? Ah, damn. He had camo on, so... Ugh. And that brilliant spawn system coming into play again right there. I'm pretty sure this is an MCC issue and not a CE issue. I do feel like there's a bit of a jump th delay as well, it feels like. Another thing too with the Insider Program version of this game is that it's 2 on 2 which, you know, kind of makes sense because the game was probably mainly designed for, you know, just, you know, linking up with your friends and playing, you know, split screen for, you know, with four people on a screen kind of thing. So that's why you have maps like Prisoner and stuff like that. So it makes sense to just be like a 2v2 kind of centered game. But the thing is, though, is that the uh, score limit is 50, which is 2v2, which, you know, doubles has always been 25 kills. And so these games really get dragged out, and uh, right now I am just kind of just waltzing around having these two guys beat me up while they, you know, hoard power weapons, because that's another thing, which, uh, but that's just how CE is, is that the power weapons will just respawn. I think after, like, you drop it with no ammo for 20 seconds, I believe, so, and there's, so it's not like a set timer like there is, like, in Halo 5 or any other of the uh, Halo games. I outplayed that kid. <laughs> Real good. And so it's just like, you know, that's obviously a different style of game right there. And which obviously with the CE, with CE, it was designed to be a little bit more arcadey, I would say, than like the Halo ended up becoming. Halo became a rather competitive game, especially Halo 5 is a very competitive kind of shooter game. And so then playing, mixing it over to C, where it's much more randomized, not so strict on like. I would say balancing obviously is not the strong key point of this game either. I mean, like, it's all about the pistol. There's really no point in picking up any other weapon besides like a rocket launcher or a shotgun or a sniper rifle or anything like that. But because the pistol does just about everything you want it to do in this game, and that's just CE. And so it's one thing about the um, weapon sandbox is that it's just rather limited, really, because of. Well, because of the meta being the pistol. So now I swear this is not the same map or same gameplay. This is a new map, new playlist, new guys we're playing against here. But uh, I'm just getting the same map. So we're going to continue on here. But no, that sounds like it kind of like was really dogging on the MTs or a Halo C for not being like that good anymore. <laughs> and it, I mean, it's a game that definitely shows its age. I mean, it came out in 2001. So. And it was really, multiplayer was really designed for just kind of split screen and stuff like that because there was no Xbox Live back in the day. That's I think what made, X, made Halo 2 so great is that it was the first main shooter to have Xbox Live on it. And what, but the thing that was so great about CE is that it really brought the shooter genre to the consoles. That's what made this game so huge. Because previously other games tried to do it and they just really couldn't like, couldn't quite hit it right and I think uh, that you know Bungie did a great job of just really just kind of being able to make it so you can have a shooter on the console though the spawns are still absolutely god awful in this game right now <laughs> but um so as like you know most of the weapons in C as well don't really have much in the way of recoil on them or anything so that wasn't really anything to really take in consideration while trying to shoot like watch like I'm just shooting the cursor doesn't move at all. The recoil isn't really a thing. There is spread though. So that's one thing I think that they kind of have in this game to kind of make it so then, you know, we try to, you know, be a little more accurate with the shots kind of thing. But uh, as you can tell, some of the shots sometimes are just like you just miss them. 
and it's just because of spread and you can't really tell because it's for how large the cursor is on your screen right here. They have your bullet can be pretty much anywhere within that. I'm pretty much pretty much playing against uh, CE pros right now. Maybe that spawn. Look at that spawn. And of course he steps over over shield and just completely destroys me. So I think it was one combination of like ease of use when it came to the shooter on the console for your CE and uh, just like the um, very, very, very interesting to how you can play this game as well. There's always one thing that always was great about the Bungie games, and also really just Halo in general, that it's a very, what they call, I heard the term modular game, as in that you can kind of play it however you want. And so probably why I never really realized how bad the spawns were in this game, because uh, I always played on Blood Gulch, and so that wasn't really a big issue of spawning, because you never spawned in front of people. But you definitely do on these much smaller maps right here. And power weapons, power ups are much more prominent in this uh, style of you know 2v2 game compared to like a big team battle game, which big team battle plays really well still. And see, I played or some other matches on the original build of MCC, and it was actually really fun playing some big team battle. I got down below here. We're gonna get him. No, he's up there. Where is he? There he is. I see you, friend. You're dead. Uh, but I definitely feel like the hit detection is a lot better with the uh, Insider Program version of CE compared to what it is on the retail version right now. So you have that to look forward to as well. You just gotta make sure you pace your shots. Don't hold down the trigger. If you hold down the trigger, your shots can be all over the place. If you, you know, pace your shots properly, you will be very accurate. You can get those three shot headshots. I feel like on the uh, retail version of MCC, it's very, very hit or miss. No pun intended on that one, but it's really hit or miss. And plus, I think it's still 4v4 if I remember correctly, so it just kind of compounds the issue of like the terrible spawns that are in these 4v4 maps. Oh my gosh, grenade! Oh. So I, I also kind of want to make this video just kind of so uh, highlight some issues as well, so uh, people at 343 could potentially see this video. I may have been notified sometimes by some 343 employees, so I'd really hope to see them avoid that kind of stuff from happening. That guy literally spawned in my crosshairs right there. Like that was pretty ridiculous. And uh, oh, there's a nice little three-shot headshot there for you. And so I hope I just kind of rise these, bring up these issues uh, for CE. And, uh, you know, hopefully you can kind of fix them up properly because I just feel like it's just the MCC right now just doesn't do this game justice. And because it just like, you know, I don't know if it's just how the game was or it just needed to be updated or, or one, of some, one of those things in between. But yeah, like there's definitely some issues with the game that could be helped out and make this game much more playable in 2018. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button and let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you guys thoughts are on the MCC Insider Program, maybe CE in general. You know, maybe if you give a like or share this video around, hopefully get to like some 343 employees where they can see like, there's some serious issues when it comes to the gameplay for 4v4 or 2v2 even in this game where the spawns for even 2v2 are pretty freaking bad and so I don't know if it's just like an issue with just the game how it is and that's how it was back in 2001 or if it just needs to be updated or want something in between but I just want to bring up these issues to hopefully give a better experience for the classic amazingness that is CE and there's just this charm to see it's like definitely not the best but it's certainly really fun so anyways guys thank you so much for watching I greatly appreciate it and I'll catch you all in the next video peace out